Welcome everyone to a special episode of that. Today, we are doing something a little different. We are going to act out a scene from the movie Swordfish. Wait, what? Why are we doing this? Just go with it, Bob. It's going to be fun. I love that movie. I can't wait to see who plays John Travolta's character. Um, guys, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, we're supposed to be producing a show here. Relax, we Debbie. Movies. We're just having a little fun. Alright. Here's everything we need. Perfect. Let's get started. You know, there's something about you. You're the first guy I've met since my divorce that I actually like. That's very sweet, Ginger. Hey, can we focus on face, please? What's going on? You know, humans are so obsessed with wealth and power. It's kind of sad, really. Always wanting more. Hey, Stanley, do you think you can break into the FBI computer system? Of course I can. I am the best hacker in the world. That's what I like to hear. Not if I can help it. Let's go, Stanley. Time to make our getaway. That was amazing. You guys really got into character. I have to admit, that was kind of fun. You know, humans are capable of so much creativity and imagination. It's a shame they're so focused on material yeah, possession. they could achieve so much more if they just work together. Well, that's a topic for another episode, I think. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you next time on Earth. Alright folks, time to get back to our special episode where the cast enacts an abridged version of the movie. Swordfish. What scene are we doing next? Let's do the scene where Gabriel hacks into the DES system and gets the passcodes. But let's make it slightly bizarre. How so? We could have the alien from that planet we visited last week show up and try to hack into the system before Gabriel does. That could be an interesting twist. We could discuss the differences in hacking techniques between the aliens and Gabriel. Yes, I'm sure the aliens are experts in hacking up technology. Let's see how that goes. Alright, let's get into position. Bob, you're the D agent. Alice, you're one of the aliens. Khan, you're Gabriel. And action. What's the status on the system Just upgrade? A few more seconds. These earthlings have such primitive security measures. I should be able to access the system in no time. These humans think they are so advanced. Our technology is lacking right of them. Wait a minute. There's an unauthorized access attempt. That would be us. UHO, abort mission. Too late. They've traced our location. Okay, cut. That was interesting, but let's try to stick to the script a bit more. Let's do the next scene where Gabriel meets Ginger at the bar. Sorry Debbie, got carried away with the aliens. Alright, let's reset and do the bar scene. Alright everyone, let's get back into position for the next scene. Carl, you're Gabriel, and Alice, you're Ginger.
and action. Mind if I sit here? Sure, why not? Thanks. So, what's your name? Ginger. What's you? Gabriel. Nice to meet you, Ginger. Nice to meet you too, Gabriel. Hey, can I get a beer please? Let's get to. So, what brings you to this bar? Just passing through. And you? Same here. I needed a break from all the chaos of the world. Ah, caca. My heart. What do we do? It's a mad attack. I'll perform CPR. Debbie, call 911. Call 911. Hot. Hot. What the heck was that? We were just following this script. There's nothing about someone having a heart attack. And why did we suddenly turn this into a medical drama? Sorry about that. I thought it would be funny to throw in a curveable. UGH, human and their sense of humor. I thought it was hilarious. Okay, let's reset and do the scene again. For this time, let's stick to the script. Alright, everyone, last scene coming up. Carl, you're Stanley, and Bob, you're Senator Weissman. Alice, you can be the assistant to the Senator. And action. Senator, I need your help. What kind of help? I need you to release all the prisoners in exchange for the hostage. What hostage? The one I have in a secure location. If you don't release the prisoners, I'll kill her. Senator, I have the file you requested. Thank you, Alice. This is a private conversation. Yes, Senator. All right, I'll release the prisoners, but I want to see the hostage first to make sure she's unarmed. Of course. Follow me. Halt. Halt. What was that? What do you mean? We are supposed to be doing an abridged version of Swordfish, not a parody. This is getting ridiculous. We were just trying to add some suspense to the scene. Yeah, it's called artistic interpretation. You guys are impossible. Yeah, organic life is so obsessed with their own dramas. Let's just finish this scene and wrap this up. How about back to your positions? And action! Follow me, Senator. I hope the hostage is okay. Here she is, safe and sound. Very funny, Carl. Alright, that's a wrap, folks. Good job, everyone. Thank goodness. I don't think I could handle another bizarre twist. You know, I think that she can have more acting talent than all of us combined. That was quite an interesting episode we had today. Interesting. That was one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. I never knew humans could be so creative. Well, that's one way to put it. But you have to admit, I it suppose. was quite entertaining. But what was the point of it all? It seemed like a lot of chaos for no reason. I think the point was to explore the different aspects of human behavior. To see how they react in certain situations. And what did we learn? That humans are capable of some strange and irrational behavior? Yes, but also that they are capable of great creativity and imagination. 
They were able to take a simple movie and turn it into something completely different. I still don't understand different. why they don't just focus on advancing the technology and creating a post-scarcity society. It seems like they're wasting the potential. Oh, but that's the beauty of it. Humans are not just rational beings driven by practical concerns. They have a desire for expression, for art, for entertainment. It's what makes them unique. Unique, yes, but also inefficient and wasteful. I suppose I will never understand their motivation. Maybe not. But it's worth trying to understand. After all, we are here to study and learn from them. And who knows, maybe one day they will surprise us and achieve post-scarcity on their own I suppose terms. anything is possible. But for now, I think I'll stick to analyzing the behavior from a safe distance. These humans are a strange bunch.